Hey Sagittarius, let's see what other messages we can get for you guys today. We are going to start with my angel deck. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Sagittarius collective? Please, thank you. Somebody wants you to be stuck on them and you're not stuck on them. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, what's the message? And listen to your intuitive feelings, baby. Your body's receiving accurate messages from the divine. I feel like this person wants, I feel like you're on their mind 24 9. And they want, they're like, it's, it's not fair that you can just go out there and live your life and you don't think about me how I constantly think about you. This could be a friend, family member, ex, your current person. You know, I feel like there's a lot of mind games going on. Because you're dealing with somebody who wants, they want it to be like, maybe it's the first time it's been this way. Or, or maybe it never mattered to them before. Because attention ain't shit unless it's coming from the person that you want it to come from. Okay? This person can have 50, 11 people around that ain't who they want around them. And I feel like they're doing a lot. Person could have even been doing shit to get your attention. All right, so let's see. Spirit, yeah, they was doing shit every fucking day with the two of them. Could have even been fucking with your work. You know that song I'm getting. Can you focus on me? So whatever had your attention, this person could have been fucking with. It. It's like doing shit in the background, wanting you to know that it's them. And like trying to get an action out of you. For some of y'all, this could have been going on for a long time. A very long time. Some of y'all might be surprised when you find out who it is. Man, I ain't seen your ass since the second grade. <laughs> I ain't seen you since the second grade. What the hell are you talking about? And I feel like this person holds on to grudges. For dear life, child. Alright, so the spirit... It's telling you right off the rip. It's to your yep. It's to your intuition. Confirmation, high priestess. So you are someone who is in tune with your intuition. You listen to it. Because your body's receiving accurate messages from the divine. Spirit could even give you be giving you dreams, visions, and downloads of what's really going on. So for some of you, like I said, this person is like trying to make you jealous with another energy. They're trying to block you and play mind games. And it, you're like this person's you're their job. Their job is to fuck with you. Every day. Okay? Uh, Y'all remember the movie Scream? And it was the boyfriend the whole time? Say, hey. Is that what she said? What he said? Spirit, what's going on right here? With this. Listen to your intuitive feel. Somebody could have been pulling cars on you. Or you could have been pulling cars on the situation. Somebody could have got a reading done. All right, so we have a three of cups to the ten of pentacles. Somebody's doing something with another person, three of cups, okay? And there is something with money here. All right, sudden wealth or some child. Yeah, ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Six of Cups with the Ten of Wands. Whatever this is from the past, it's coming back around. And so this Ten of Wands in the reverse, I feel like you released it. It was some type of, it could have been burning you, but I, I feel like you walked away from it, you let it go. This person ain't let it go, but I feel like you have. Some of you could have moved on and been celebrating with someone else. Um, Some of you started new businesses or something with this Ten of Pentacles. You're doing something. What else? Yeah, you and your Empress energy, you're creating. Some of you are about to give birth to something. 
So you've been going through the labor pains of it. I don't think this is a physical pregnancy. I feel like this is something that's going to create the Ten of Pentacles for you. But something that you've been working on is about to be very profitable for you. Some of you are like on platforms. You have like um, fans, followers, crowds, something like that. But you're definitely in this creative energy here. And you got somebody that wants you to focus on. This person right here that wants you to focus on them. Can you help? Somebody feels like they didn't do something in the past, and now there's so many people you don't see them. See, in the past, it was just three people here. Um, they could have walked away from you to give to someone younger than them, or there could have been something here with a child. This happened in the past. See, you was going towards this house, so maybe you wanted to build some. You wanted a relationship. This person wanted someone that they could be over. You see how they're standing over this person? Or maybe they wanted to be a sugar daddy or sugar mama. You see how they give into this energy? So in the past, I feel like you wanted something solid with this person. And they didn't, okay? They wanted to be, they wanted to do something other than you. And so uh, now they're looking back at it. And um, they're like, damn. There's so many. If you look at this empress, all oh, that look like people down there. So it's like, damn, there's so many people in front of this empress. They don't see me. And now they could want what you wanted then. Four ones. But they, this person never lets you know how they felt. King of Swords. They was too busy trying to, like, keep the one up or, like, poker face, something like that. But they about, they on the edge now. You see that cliff? This is the same person that just said in that last reading, I've been working on a master plan, but ain't nothing but sweat inside my hand. This energy here. Could be an air sign, Gemini, we born Aquarius. Or they're just very methodical, this motherfucker. If they want to fart, it's they have to deeply think about it. <laughs> am I gonna am I gonna do it loud or soft or you know like what the fuck are you doing? All right, they are highly attracted to you, but um, mm -hmm. spirit. I heard tower shit. That remind me of that reading I did. I was like, when this person get around, you like firecrackers go off. And it was a King of Swords in that reading. Ooh, but see that and that King of Swords, he didn't like he did not normally go after those types. He didn't like those types, but it was something about you that they wanted. They liked. But shit, they didn't tell you. And it could have been because of, you know, what others would think. Because you, I feel like you're dealing with somebody who worried about, um, what will my family say? What my friends going to say? Oh, I'm, I'm a lawyer. I can't just be seen with this type of person. I'm a, I'm a doctor. I can't be seen with this type of person. I'm a counselor. I can't, you know, maybe they're a professional. King of Swords is normally a professional. It's normally an authority figure. But I feel like they in the King of Swords because they was just hiding how they felt. Real stern. Like, there's something professional about this person for some of you. I just got for some of you, this person is not this King of Swords. The King of Swords is in the way for this person. They, oh wait, empress. You have two people who are viewing you as an empress. You could be a man or a woman, right? I always tell you guys that because it's 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 energy, okay? Anybody can be in that creative energy. But this person that's in this nine of ones, they have definitely been through a lot. They've done a lot, been through a lot. 
um, and they fought off a lot of stuff, okay? But there is a professional, at least to this person. You know what it reminds me of? I was watching this show. He was like, it was a doctor. This doctor had started liking this girl. And he was like, man, the doctor was getting in my way. So I had to get rid of his ass. So he did some sabotage shit to break that up or whatever. But so whoever this professional is, they're in the way. This person that's in the nine of wands, they looking at this professional like, okay, that's an ant right there. I'm getting that song. That ants go marching one by one. Somebody even doing someone in the military or something like that. But anyway, this person is like, oh hell no, nah, I gotta get rid of this. The energy that's in this nine of wands wants to get rid of this king of swords. It has proved to be a problem though. Because something backfired. Told you. Ten of Swords. Betrayal. <laughs> sabotage. Not betrayal. This is sabotage. But something backfired. You know what it reminds me of? I did a reading. I said, um, this person had hired an, a, a private investigator. But the private investigator ended up liking the person that they was going to investigate on. Or some shit like that. And um, so he went back and lied to the person too. Because he was interested in that energy. But that's what it remind me of. It's something like that going on. What the fuck is going on? Three of Swords. Whew. There's definitely three people involved. You got the Three of Cups up here. You had three people on this Six of Cups. And you got this Three of Swords. <sighs> the Moon. There's a lot going on behind the scenes. Things are getting illuminated. The sun and the moon. There is a red flag around the paternity of a, a little boy, a little girl, a child. There's a paternity issues with the Scorpio around this child. Mmm. So Spirit just said, in the past, this person walked away from you because of a child. I said that earlier. And for some of you, the child ain't theirs. Because um, it's three people involved when it comes to that situation. So for some of you, this person walked away from you. The child ain't even theirs. And now they're coming, they're trying to come back around. They're trying to get your attention. You got all these people in front of you. And the person that they view as their competition is a king of swords. For some of you, for some of you, this person works with this king of swords. Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I'm telling you, y'all need to go watch that fucking reading I did. This King of Swords. <laughs> this person over here. So this is the situation where this person works for this King of Swords. They sit in the back and they... <laughs> <laughs> they be watching this King of Swords. They be like, I can't stand it. motherfucker. <laughs> Oh man, they be mean mugging the fuck out the King of Sword. But for some, that's they boss, so they ain't gonna say too much. They gonna hold it up under their breath. <laughs> oh wow. I just got that story out the Bible one. Mm -mm, I ain't gonna talk about that. But anyway, yeah, they be like, this King of Swords could have sent this person somewhere else. But what I'm getting is like, this person sits in the bag and mean mug the fuck out of this king of swords. I don't know why. For some of you, this king of swords is very mean to this empress, but that's not, that's, 
they really like this empress. <coughs> I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm just getting so much. Somebody tried to betray someone. I mean, uh, sabotage something. But something backfired. And I feel like this person with the bandage on their head, I feel like the reason it's on there in this card today or in this reading is because this person has thought of every fucking thing. They're not, at this point, they're beating the head of me. Like, because this King of Swords is this person's competition. Because this person is a professional or... Something about this King of Swords that makes this person feel smaller than them or something. But not smaller than them, but they feel like if this Empress was standing in front of the two of them, the Empress would choose the King of Swords. That's how this person feels. It may not be the truth, but this person feel like, man, the Empress gonna go for the King of Swords before he or she go for me. Because this Empress could be a man, and this Queen of Swords could be a woman, and this could be a woman. Now, someone is a stud. This person could be a stud. And that could be the reason why they're like, man, this empress going to choose the king of swords over, they, over me. You know, I don't know what the fuck going on. But anyway, the five of pentacles. So, somebody tried to do something that didn't work. Somebody could be dealing with the Libra or some other word for the justice, with the justice card. It's like we're doing with a Virgo. I feel like this Empress ain't thinking about any one of these people because they are creating. There's something they're creating. If you got, if you, if you're a man, you got two women, and you ain't thinking about either one of them. If you're a woman, you got two men, and you ain't thinking about either one of them. They both feel out in the cold. Spirit, what's going on? The Wheel of Fortune. So, I, I feel like... I already said it, that you're about to give birth to something. Something that you've been working on about to... About to pop off. But you see that snake and that fox? That's that goddamn King of Swords and that nine. They trying to sliver through that up in there some kind of way. Trying to find anybody in there. What else here? One of them is like a like a lion. Like they stalk, they pray. Like listen, pay the fucking sword, stalker energy. Cause I'm looking at that cat over there. One of them like just they just that's the one who's like working on the master plan. But ain't nothing but sweat inside my head. One of them motherfuckers just waiting on the right opportunity. What's this? King of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, and the Sun. It's a lot of people in this. Um, I keep getting that conglomerate word. But it's a crowd of motherfuckers right there. And this King of Swords is so fucking mean to this Empress. He is. He, he or she is very mean to this Empress. But maybe this person's intuitive. They know. 
<laughs> this person in the nine of wands knows that this king of swords can feel some type of way. Maybe they buddies, friends, co-workers. Maybe they're maybe they have the same type or something. But see, this king of swords should be acting so motherfucking hard. Man, I don't like him. I don't like her. You a damn liar. She a damn liar. Whatever, boy. This person know it, though. And they feel like, man, is this king of swords? I'm saying king, but it could be a woman, y'all. But this nine of wands person feel like, if this king of swords say something first, psh, ain't got no chains. You, you don't know that. Why do they feel like that? Why does not a one's person feel like that? But some of y'all has to do with position or power or some shit like that. Someone could be a pilot. Nine of Cups. This part, okay. This person remind me of that movie I was watching. Um. Uh, I don't like him. The movie Men of Honor, that young guy who came in, he's like, I know the rules. I wrote it. Uh, I don't like... I mean, I don't know this person, but I'm just saying, I don't like what I'm getting off this card. Hmm. Now, I can, I can read this another way. The Nine of Cups. First of all, somebody could drink a lot. Somebody could sit on the bench. Uh, but the Nine of Cups is like complete wish fulfillment. Remember I said, why did this person feel like that? They could feel like this Empress will think that this King of Swords is their wish fulfillment. But they don't know what the fuck this Empress looking for. They feel like this King of Swords either has it all together with the Nine of Cups or has some power or something like that. How does this King of Swords feel? They want you to shut the fuck up. I swear I just heard shut the fuck up. Okay, baby, 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 baby. Well, let's go to the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. Somebody's trying to figure out how they can cause an ending. The Death card with the Knight of Cups. With that butterfly. Yeah, they're trying to end something, change something, transform something. So they send someone in and get some information so they can uh, end something. Because this, is, it, this comment came in. It has a bunch of hearts on it. And it said, unknowingly. Or the unknown, something like that. So, this page of swords is your stalker. They fucking, they stalking you like prey. So they can, they, they're blocking you, trying to end shit. They could even be gossiping about you to other people so nobody won't come to you. I don't know, child. Yo, somebody's dealing with Scorpio. I don't care what this King of Swords said. What this King of Swords talking about? There's a hole in this King of Swords plan. Seven of Wands is like defending or fighting for something. Standing up for something. Eight of Pentacles. I, I, I feel like these people work together. I already said I feel like this person is this person boss or something. 
All right, so yeah, y'all yeah, just the advice is to listen to your intuitive feelings. And um, with the hermit, somebody was dealing with a Virgo. This could have to do with work, but um, I, I I feel like maybe stay to yourself with the hermit card. Oh, you got a queen of swords. Oh my god. Or maybe you met this person in a professional setting. So y'all have to act so professional. I don't fucking know. But the page of ones came out. That is inspiration or good news or something like that. Anything else, Peter? Mm, the five of cups. Damn. But some of y'all, this fucking King of Swords is married. So um, maybe this nine of wands. So they they see this person as competition, but if they married, they ain't no competition. They already taken. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's why this person being mean to this empress because they already in something. They know they can't. Um. They can't do nothing with it. <sighs> Alright, I need to go in the house, child. Alright, what else, Pierre? The house. Like for some of y'all, this King of Swords, somebody be being mean to this Empress, but you know that song, You Made Me Love You? This King of Swords could be withholding shit from this Empress, uh, like intercepting their phone calls or their mail or something like that. Imprisonment. What the fuck? What is that? Move away, move away. Stay away, move away. Stay away from this person. Or some shit like that. I can get um somebody could be from Damn Mother Star fell off. Australia. No way. No way. You talking about the intervention? He's really a nice shark. He never knew his father. Y'all remember that in Finding Nemo? Shark. I hope this person ain't no, um. Somebody could be a shark. Like one of them sharks some Shark Tank. Or somebody could be a long shark. I don't know. He never knew his father. He's really in the sky. Fish are friends, not food. What else, beer? Judication. So we just gonna leave that little piece alone right there. Just listen to your intuitive feelings, child. Be willing to forgive. This 
could have a this could have something to do with parents or children or he never knew his father or something like that. Okay. Yeah, see the hermit is the same thing as this. Quiet. Cause that person did I hear I did hear shut the fuck up. Quiet your mind, beloved one. And listen to our generation so everything has been taken care of. Stay to yourself or, or um, well, I feel like I can't talk about this reading. shock the angels are helping you to love and speak your truth it's time to set aside work for a while don't worry we will oversee your responsibilities to their completion and see yourself and the others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and be willing to forgive ask the angels to clear your mind and body of past pain in exchange for peacefulness all right, that's what I have. Another opportunity to forgive. So, damn. Must have been some fuckery going on. It's always some fuckery going on, y'all. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Both of them. And until next time.